This is just released video from inside Woodland Hills High School. This is Quayshawn Wade, the student who was called into the office here and questioned, according to his attorney, about a missing cell phone. As Wade is leaving, you can see him say something, and then he's brought back into the office by police and taken into a room out of view. When the officer emerges, he is holding his knuckles. Attorney Todd Hollis says Officer Stephen Shawless had just knocked out the boy's tooth. This is another sad day in the long history um, the long ongoing saga, you know, regarding abuse at Woodland Hills High School. Hollis says this video from 2015 is proof. Here, the officer took another student to the floor and shocked him with a taser with the help of Principal Kevin Murray. The boy here, Ahmad Williams, was later found guilty of disorderly conduct and not guilty of resisting arrest in this case. It hurts them personally because they know that they're trying to do right for the children. Phil DeLacente represents Officer Shalas and Principal Murray. Hollis has asked for both to be fired along with the superintendent. But he's taking isolated incidents in a very large school over a significant period of time and he's weaving those two or three incidents into this conspiracy that we are somehow a dangerous place to be when we're not. The DA's office says they are working with state and federal agencies to determine what, if any, crimes have been committed. While it's unclear whether there'll be any changes within the district, Todd Hollis says he is filing a lawsuit. Outside the Woodland Hill School District, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.